Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial by Stoby. This is the second part of the forestry tutorial. If you missed the first part, um, go, there will be a card above that will link to the first video. In this, I'm going to be explaining how you do forestry bees, because that's the next part and it's vitally important for the rest of forestry and it leads on directly from this. So the first thing you need to make yourself is you need to make yourself a scoop a uh, bee smoker and not that actually and a portable line a portable analyzer can't speak um recipes um may change per mod pack if you want to find the recipe you and you have this and you have jai which you can download from curseforge um all you have to do is you look up each item so for example the bee analyzer if i can find it Portable analyzer, which is right there, and then you hit R on it, and it will show you the recipe. So you can see this needs a carpenter, four tin, two glass, two redstone, and diamonds, and two buckets of water. I don't know why it needs two buckets of water. It's an electronic equipment. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised it needs two buckets of water, considering well, it runs on honey. So. And then the f next thing you need to do is you need to wait until night and then go looking for these. You go at night because they glow, so it's a lot easier to see them at night. And what you do is you right click them with the bee smoker, which pacifies the bees, and then you break it with this. And then you can either get, and then you'll get either a uh, queen, just a princess from the, f so from the forest hive. So if you look at forest, you can see either you'll get just princess, or you'll get the, both the princess and the drone. This is not the right time for this sort of weather, where is it? Right, there we go. Um, or, the, or you get the forest princess and the drone, or you'll, uh, or you'll get the, or you could get um, a comb. One of these. So, and then those are the three drops from each of these. So this one, you'd get the Meadows Princess and the Meadows Drone with the same comb. The Wintry one, you'll either get the Wintry Princess, the Wintry Drone, or you could get a Wintry Comb. It's any combination of those three. And then the Modest one, either you'll get the Modest Princess, the Modest Drone, and the Modest Comb. I think, no, the Parched Comb. And then these you can then when you and then these bees you take and you have to put them either in an apiary or in a bee house. Now the bee house requires you to have the comb dropped, and then this is the recent recipe. And then the apiary you use impregnated casing instead of the comb, and it allows you and you make that from eight wood and some seed oil, which may change. The difference is the bee house, the bees will last longer. So when you put in a princess, it will eventually go down to here, and then you'll either, and then you'll get the queen and the princess out here, along with, and the combs come as this drops. Each time it drops by a bit, um, if I get out a queen. So if you can see, um, it should register those flowers here. Do you see this green bar? Each time it drops down there's a chance that a comb will appear here and once it reaches all the way down to the bottom the queen will die and will produce a princess and two to three um two to three drones here depending on its genetics. And the advantage of the apiary is they will die quicker, but you can put in frames here, which will upgrade the bees. So if you look at the frames, you can see that this one produces, you can see that it, produces, it increases the amount of honey they produce and reduces the gen genetic decay. I don't know what reducing the genetic decay does. I think it reduces the amount they mutate, but that will get onto that later. And the apiary you can automate, so you can use pipes to pull out the princesses and pull out the drones and put them back in. And then you take these combs, and then they go in the centrifuge. 
and this then turns them into their results. So if you go in here and look up any comb, you can see that the products of this one are some refractory racks and some phosphor, but the, you'll mostly be getting this honeycomb, which will produce beeswax and honey drops. Also, these three need to be next to a normal flower, but the modest one needs to be next to a desert flower, which is a cactus. If you're unsure which flower is which, you can look it up, because I'm not going to go through every single one, because that is boring. But then that will give you honey drops. The honey drops fuel the portable analyzer, as well as you can turn them into honeyed slices, which are really good food sources. Or and and then yeah, or you can squeeze them in the squeezer and turn them into liquid honey, which can go in the analyzer to be used to automatically. It's an automatic version of the portable analyzer. And yes, yeah, so that's all the reuses. And then the APRS chest, if I look up the recipe, you can see that it's made of honeycombs and chest, and it just stores thousands upon thousands of bees. It's just useful for when you're breeding and you've got lots of different types. The next thing you need to get is an, this thing, which I will not attempt to pronounce. I have no idea how you're meant to pronounce that. But what this does is you put in any bee in the middle, and it basically gives you a match game. But how I recommend you play it is how I'm playing it now. Is you just click top bottom replace top one. So you can actually do this. Oh, that was right, but I did it right. And then you do something else. No, I keep on doing it right, but I keep on messing it up. All right. But whatever, you get the idea. So what this will then produce is it will produce an amount of honeycombs. So if you don't have any bees and you want to mass produce honeycombs, this actually might be a method of doing it. And it will also give you some notes. And this will tell, give you a mutation. So mutations work if I take out this and this and pop that there, pop that there. You can see it's got all these stats. So you've got the species. This determines what um, type of honeycomb it produces and this is where the mutations come in because its species can mutate. Its lifespan, how long it lasts, so how long it takes for this the green bar to go down. Um, production, how fast it makes honeycomb. Pollination, how fast it duplicates these flowers that it's using. Fertility type, flower type, so that's the either it uses cactus or flowers or all the other different flower types. Fertility, amount of drones it produces when it dies. Territory, amount of space that it can spread these flowers to. So it will spread them in an area around it. Effect, so that will be like, um, that will come onto that later. And then page two, you can see climate, so what conditions it needs to be a lot to work. This is determined by the biome, or if you use a habitat producer, you can change it. Diurnal, um, whether it can, whether it can work in the, nocturnal means it works in the night. Diurnal means it works in the day. Tolerant fly, can it fly in rain? Cave dwelling, can it fly underground? Can it work underground? Possible product produce, so honeycombs, and it might other produce all of these. And then the speciality is, for example, some of these can produce like, like you can get bees that produce ores from different mods. And that will come under this section. Number four, possible mutations. This is what you've learned from this thing is printed out here. So you can see we've got common drone, merry drone, root drone, so on. And classification. This is just fancy stuff. Don't need to know about that. <laughs> and that's what the portable analyzer gives you. This is useful for when you start breeding bees, which we're going to come on to now. So how you breed bees is you need to use the apiary, the bee house means they won't mutate, and you mix the princess of one type. So for example, we're going to take the meadows princess and we're going to mix it with a forest drone. So what you do is you then just pop them in and this will then fill up as they breed together to form a queen and then those will just go down and then when it finishes it will mix together both of their genetics using a Punnett square which I haven't actually got set up so 
just going to quickly do that and I'll skip to when I set that up. Planet, planet square setup. So here we're doing the breed that we just did. I don't know what JPR I did it in. But here we have the pure forest, pure meadows. This is just what you get fresh out these hives. Now each time the species will... Because you saw in the potable analyzer, if I get it out, that it's got two species. So one is from one is from one bee, and then the other is from the other bee. So this, let's say, the tops, the princess in this case. So you've got a pure forest princess and a pure meadows drone. And you combine them together to form a queen, and then the queen dies. And then for the princess and each drone, it then rolls. So it's got a 1 in 4 chance of getting any 4 of these. So in this case, because they're all pure, you get the same product for each one. So you, in this case, you will always get pure forest meadows. So this would say forest, this would say meadows. Or the other way around. I think it has priorities, but I don't think it does. And when it rolls a forest meadows, it then has a 15% chance of each of the, either of these, mutating to become common. And if you go into JEI again, you can see you've got that chance there, mutating into a common. Now, if I was going to take one of these mixed bees, move it over here and breed it with another pure meadows queen, because I'm, I can. You will see, so we've got two slots filled by forest meadows, two slots filled by pure meadows. This means that it's got a 50% chance of forming meadows, 50% chance of this, and it's got a 15% chance of then rolling a 15% chance to get a common. So in this case, the common is much rarer. And then the final one, if I take two of those mixed ones and put them together, you get pure forest, 25%. 25% mixed, no, 50% mixed, 25% pure meadows, and so it's got a 50% chance of rolling, the 50% chance of common. You don't really need to know this. All you need to know is, basically, it combines the, st the stats for its mum, stats for the drone, queen, no, stats for the princess, stats for the drone, and... This is how it gets the species. So if you, but if you just do it randomly and keep on breeding, you will eventually get the pure type you want. So the first breeding you need to do to get the alveary, which is kind of like the late game version of the apiary, don't get the two confused, they're very different. You take the common, you breed it with the meadows. I'm just assuming here, this is just two of the basic bees that you can get out the hives. You can use either of the two. This will then form a common. This common you then breed with e breed with either one of those two. You get the cultivated. You then do the cultivated, then the one before. You get either one of these two, and so it goes. So this is how this chart works. Now, for other bees, it won't work like this. But for the two basic bees, or like the basic top tier bees, this is how it works. It's I don't know why it works that way. And then this one produces royal jelly. This one produces pollen clusters. You can then combine those two in a carpenter with some honey to make scented panelling, which makes the alvary. <sighs> you can then set up the alvary like so. So n the basic one is just the alvary outside in a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. This is not hollow, this is solid. And this will then give you, and then you need to put the oak wood slabs on the top. And then this will bring up this GUI, and it just works like a normal apiary. You can then attach stuff to it. So you can attach a hydro regulator. This either takes those three ingredients and the lava will make it hotter. The water will make it colder. So each biome has a temperature. Lava will raise the temperature and water will cool the temperature. So will crushed ice. And then this allows you to basically pretend that this is in a different biome and this may allow you to produce, put, like, for example, the modest bee in the middle of a grassland where it wouldn't normally be. The fan takes power and cools it down. The hydroregulator, oh, actually, I just talked about that. Heater takes power and heats it up. Those two oppose each other. 
and the stabilizer means the queen will never mutate. So this will never happen. The sieve, this takes woven silk, which we'll get onto later, and this can potentially produce pollen from trees. So it's not really to do with bees, and I'll probably go over this in more detail in next episode. And then the swarmer takes the royal jelly from earlier and produces these dependent on the biome. There's more detail on how they're produced in the manual. And so we then get onto this. This is just an extra one. So the bees can't work in the rain usually. So this is quite a useful device. It's called the Rainmaker. And what it does is it takes iodine capsules or dissipation charges, which are made like this or this, hence why it's over here, because it takes those two. The iodine capsule makes rain. The dissipation charge doesn't make rain, which is actually what I used at the start of the video when it started raining. Now the database is also the same. Oh, I just broke it. Um, the database is the same, so it needs one royal jelly. Well, apparently you can use fruit, and it just take it can just store anything to do with forestry, the same as these chests, as it, it takes these chests in the re in the recipe, and it just stores all the different bees that you might have, and it's got basically infinite storage. I don't think you're gonna have many more bees than that. Now. Why I haven't put all the hives over here is these are the four that I'd recommend you use as basic honey producing bees. If you use these ones, they're harmful. So you can see this one, you get, this is the tropical one, so this is the one that you find in jungles. The tropical princess will poison you when put in an alvary and you stand nearby. This is why I don't recommend you use this one as your basic one, because you'll be constantly taking damage. Well, what it produces, it produces silky combs, it produces silky propriolus. This is then put in the centrifuge, makes silk wisps. Nine silk wisps makes the woven silk. The woven silk makes these, which means that these bees can't harm you and can't poison you. So, the, and I put these on the end. Marshy hives also harms you, ender hive also harms you. So that is everything with forestry bees. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us out. And I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.